time ago when we were here with Carlos. Here you get a And this is your booth, uh, Chaotic Neutral. Yes, this is uh, the Chaotic Neutral booth. Yeah. So what do you guys do? Well, we are a collection of artists and writers. Um, we have four writers, two artists. We do books, we do prints, we do fan art, we do poetry. We do comics and a little bit of everything. So you guys kind of like me, basically. Yeah, kind of. We, we try to we try to be versatile. And this is one of your artists. This is the Kink Fairy. Hi. She is. Uh, she does a lot of our more adult art. All on the backside for some reason. Well, you know. It's all over there except the front. It's still good art. You gotta think of the kids. <laughs> Hey there. Oh, He's right. one of our writers. He wrote um, The Victims of the Indigo Project, a science fiction horror novel. And uh, I wrote The Pandoran Artifacts, which is a supernatural horror novel. Which I will probably buy both of those after this interview. Thank you. Because I myself, I wrote my zombie novel, and I'm a horror, a horror science fiction buff. We, we tend to like, we like the darker stuff here. So we, I think we like every half like, of a book and every other half. Not yet, but what we have collaborated on is our poetry collections, which have poems from each of the different authors. So, we are hoping to collaborate, but right now we're just making sure we have our main book series set and ready to go. And I have a question for you. What's the creepiest, kinkiest thing you've ever drawn? And is it for sale? Yes, actually. Um, well, I have a big mission to draw a series of BDSM tarot cards. They're all pretty fantastic, and they're for sale on the table, actually. So, uh, what makes them the creepiest though? They're not necessarily creepy, but I know a lot of people have like the um, like preconceived notion that tarot cards are like bad or like they are awesome. But and a lot of people have a, a misunderstanding of what BDSM is and how it can be a very healthy relationship. And so a lot of people just have like a lot of misconceptions about both topics. So, what's the awesomest thing you've done, sir? Well, I would say that my novel is probably the most awesome thing I've done, but I've also contributed to these poetry books, and I've got another poetry book coming out with all the stuff that I've got on, on the website. Um, but I'm working on another, on a, a sequel to that, and uh, the third one will be coming right after that. But probably the best work in there is the very first one that I wrote in the Air Force. I actually wrote my the last story in there. The very first one was that one I wrote. And uh, people tell me I need help. <laughs> I guess I'll take that as a compliment, but whatever. Is like a really sick line or A little bit, a little bit, yeah. It's just, it's just a very, a very creepy story. The man has a mastery of body horror that comes from, comes from experience in both the medical and military fields. <laughs> yeah, I put it all to wonderful use in my words. So, uh, how, many guys, how many years have you guys been doing this? Uh, what? Three years now? Three years. Yeah, three years. I've been like writing and drawing as well. Three years? Yeah, yeah, three years. I thought you said con. I was going to say you were cons. No, no, no. We've been doing it for, we've been doing the writing and the art one now for three years. Um, her, she's been doing it forever. Yeah. Um, since I've been drawing since I can remember. Yeah, born with a pencil in her hand for it. Um, but we've been doing the con scene for probably what? Two years? Two years. Yeah. We've been, we spent about a, about a year like picking stuff up. And so I'm assuming each of you have a sentimental item in this book that you never sell, like personally. Your <laughs> well, she probably has one. It's everything she draws, right? Sell. You keep the original for yourself, right? No, I want to sell everything. Like I want everybody to see my artwork. I don't, I don't think you understand. We're capitalist pigs. <laughs> like. <laughs> no, basically what you said is I want money. I don't have any sentimental value whatsoever. I mean, everything, I have that, everything that I draw, I put a lot of Honestly, Let selling stuff is <laughs> selling stuff is the highest form of compliment in this sort of thing. Yeah, so. I mean, somebody somebody is going to read what I wrote, and they are going to pay money, <clears throat> and I can use that money to write more stuff. Yeah. So, what's the most expensive thing each of you sold? Uh, my book. Uh, that my book would be the most expensive. One. Uh, ten bucks. Yeah. Ten. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I can. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, bro. <laughs> That's what I get for not being able to do a straight line. <laughs> well, I draw commissions, and the most expensive commission that I've gotten at a convention was probably upwards of like $120. Picture just one? It was one picture, but it was a bunch of characters doing various interesting things. <laughs> My book. Is it both yeah, price to his? Twelve actually, it's a little longer. Two dollars higher. Yeah. He's rocking the tax. Yeah. Mostly because it costs two dollars more to print. Yeah. <laughs> I just I'm just for the thrifty man. That's all it is. These are for the people who want to buy a book for ten dollars and you're like going an extra mile with the two dollars. You know, the extra two dollar mile. Yeah, I could get gas tonight, right? But if, if somebody doesn't want to spend like hundred dollars on commission, I totally understand. I also have a lot of people for six dollars. It's actually the first issue of my um, adult themed graphic novel that I'm writing. It's up, actually up on the website right now, and it's a continuous comic update every like Saturday, I believe. Links in the description, or I'll put it up above <laughs> in the video on one of our faces. And it, it's a story about a girl, and she, her name is Lily, and she um, gets transported to a world where she's the only human, and she ends up getting into a lot of interesting relationships while she's in this alternate world. Relationships. Or relationships happen. Kind of both. She's she's very open minded. I'll leave it at that. Well, <laughs> can I get a bundle if I buy all three of them together and have you all sign it? Absolutely. Bundle yeah, we know. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, we already have a bundle deal with both the novels. You can get both for just twenty bucks, and then we can throw this one in as well. Yeah, we'll work that in probably twenty five. I'll give you an example. Uh, I think the camera wants to see. Yeah, the camera wants to see. Show the camera. There you go. Welcome to Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> so you've all known each other a long time. Oh yeah, um, I've known this man for like eight years, somewhere around there. Uh, like four, four, five years. Yeah, yeah, I think five years. I don't and we have we have three other members of our company, but they're you know manning the other table and doing their table. We have an artist alley table. Um, that's what the artists are really doing their commissions. Yeah. Um, not enough room back here for all of the commissioners. Yeah, it's kind of crowded with like six of us back here. Like, I saw that earlier. Why do they call you King Fairy? Um, I call them. What's the story of that? Okay. Um, I am a fantasy box, and one of my friends, like one of my online friends, would call me like a fairy. Long story. And I appreciate everything in this world that is kinky. So I call myself the King Fairy, the patron saint of King, because I have an appreciation for everything that is um, like sex positive and, and weird. So basically you have appreciation for both of these guys? I appreciate everybody. Well, thank you for all the time. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.